You've had a busy morning already, haven't you? I hear you got here at like four o'clock this morning, was it? Yes, that's right. Yeah, it was four o'clock this morning. Brilliant. Now, now I'm here with Hawkwind, by the way, around the back of the festival. So who is it I'm chatting to? Uh, my name's Dave Brock, and this is Magnus Martin. Yeah, I'm Magnus. I play guitar and you sing, and, um, well, do the same as you, really. lots of songs, so there that's we are. That's important in the writing songs, yes, isn't it? it's is very important. Now, this band's been around, 50, is it 55 years you've been going for now? Yes, that's true, yeah. And this is all your fault, isn't it? Is this true? Uh, well, it's not my fault because look here, we've got thousands of people come to see us. <laughs> we are artists. <laughs> and you're described, aren't you? Now, I've, I've got made a note here. The Godfathers of Space Rock. Um, are you quite impressed about that? I don't know. What do you think, Magnus? Well, I think Hawkwind defined the genre of space rock really quite early on, you know. And. Um, yeah, I mean, we just do, we play whatever we like, really, but that's, that's, all the other bands here have really been influenced by Dave's music, really. I think all of them would have to admit to that. And we quite like listening to them as well. So, I mean, we have been here all day yeah, listening to a lot of good bands. Today, yeah, good, it's a wonderful uh, collection of bands. A lot of the people we know in these bands as well. So it's quite pleasant, actually. Nice festival. Nice place to come to. People are running it, are doing a good job as well. And the weather's fine. And how does it make you feel knowing that all of these bands, or at least some of these bands, have been influenced by what you've done? Well, just perfectly normal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you never really recognise when you hear these bands, you don't go, well, it doesn't sound anything like us. You know. Anyway, <laughs> I mean, it's. <laughs> I think people feel influenced by it, but it's, it's, it never really sounds like Hawkwind, you know. I suppose it's like, if I can say, like, blues music, where uh, Afro-Americans wrote fantastic old songs from the 20s, 30s and 40s and 50s and 60s, right the way through, uh, and influence a huge amount of the world, uh, which is really a good thing. We are trying to influence the rest of the world with space rock music, so, I mean, there we are. <laughs> and all bands that have reached your sort of levels of success must have this after they've been around for, for quite so long. He says, probably a nice can. Silver Machine, do you get bored playing the same classic sometimes, or does it, do you just love it so much? Well, you can play it differently all the time. Uh, it, this is it. Richard, our drummer, who's having his dinner at the moment, uh, st started singing it, didn't he? Because it was always his favourite song. So uh, he now sings it, doesn't he? Sam as Magnus sings Master of the Universe. Master of the Universe, he is. I don't, I don't mind playing the old numbers. You know, they're all good numbers. You know, and it's, um, it's just part of the job, isn't it? You know. No. I suppose because as, as a punter. I love those old ones, and I just sometimes feel a bit guilty that I love them so much, <laughs> and you have to play them time and time again. I mean, if we're playing a festival, we usually... If, when we're playing to our, our fans, they, they don't need to hear Silk Machine, you know. So when we're touring, we, we do lots of, like, deep cuts and, you know, the, all the things that the fans will like, you know. But, but like, if they kick like this, we might, you know, we might play Silk Machine, we'll I ask, suppose. We'll ask the audience, <laughs> we'll actually. What say, That's sure. what we'll yeah. ask the audience if they want us to do it. That's the way to do it. That's very democratic of you. Now, how far are you through, through your tour? Is this part of a tour, by the way? Is this no, just a one-off, is it? No, um, we've, uh, we've been doing um, every Friday and Saturday, actually, haven't we? Yeah. Recently. Yeah. So, but this is the last one, this isn't is the it? the last so. one, and then we uh, then have to uh, get an album that we're halfway through recording, and, uh, which uh, take the next month or so, and then we've got to mix the Albert Hall live concert that we did. Yeah, we've got plenty of things to do, actually. Keep us occupied. It's <laughs> certainly going to be busy over the next few months. So when's yeah. the album coming out? Um, next year, isn't it? Yeah, April. Uh, the studio the... next year. The album... Oh, when's the Albert Hall one, Chris? Chris is in charge of everything. Christmas, there you go. Uh, this Christmas? Yes. Yeah. Oh, an ideal Christmas gift there for any yeah, fans, oh, fans at home, certainly. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully we get it all together with a nice package with lots of nice things in it to make it uh, a nice Christmas present. And that's it these days, because it's so easy to just buy the music, isn't it? But it's all those extra extra little bits that makes it into a package that people actually want to take home. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, well, and I think our fans like vinyl. They like having, like, real things, you know, rather than just downloaded stuff, you know, so... Which is great for us, you know. <laughs> And <laughs> so you're only touring now 
What? <laughs> It's great for you. <laughs> <laughs> so you're doing two tours, two, two, two gigs a week, and this is the last one of the, the, yeah. the current lot. Is that knackering or is it OK? Because you're living in quite a funky-looking bus here. Yeah, I mean, we sleep in there. It's quite comfortable, though I don't sleep very well myself because I am quite old, and sleeping in a bunk <laughs> isn't the best of things when you're bouncing around like this sometimes, I think.